When does Metro FM come calling? Jeez. Oh, so Metro FM boss at the time in 2004 yeah. travels yeah. to you. 2002, they travel to New York. It's Leslie Nkloko, Robert Marawa. Uh, Rob was there? Yeah, Rob was on that trip. Oh, wow. And my brother from 5 he used to be on 5FM. Um, Quincy or... Qu Qu uh, he's the white SABC guy. One, no, he used to be a SABC One presenter. That was Simone. Yeah. Oh, we are, we are one. Dixie. Dixie. Yeah. Dixie. It's like six of them. They get to New York. I get told by a guy called Mr. Leo Mane. Yeah, that's a beautiful gin. Oh, thank you. Man. So a friend of mine says, Yo, the boss of Metro is in town. Meet up with them. I'm like, What? So now I'm in New York. And some more? Yeah, please. Yeah. I don't have a car, by the way. <laughs> um, this is neat. Yeah. This is neat. This gin is clean. You can have some ice tea, guys. Ah. Um, the call comes in. The boss of Metro is going to be in town. Yeah. Meet up with him. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wow. In New America this time. Yeah? I'm in New York. I'm yeah. in New York. At that time, the accent was kicking in. So let me, ex let me, let me qualify the accent part. Do you know how difficult to be in high school? And all your friends, when you speak, like, what you saying? Yeah. What you saying? Imagine, yeah. Like, what you saying? <laughs> all your friends in high school. Yeah. I'm not talking university. Yeah. High school. Yeah. Like, and then they will ask each other, what did you just say? <laughs> and you are in front of them. <laughs> are you like, but this thing is nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to have a prom date. Mo. <laughs> we call him a chick farewell. Yeah, yeah. There's this exhaustion that comes with time to say, these guys don't hear me. I'm going to try my best for them to hear me. Unfortunately, it became a l slightly permanent. It's difficult. Me bra, o ga shelling wanyana e ga re o tswa le thuli house. At this point, I would like to find out uh, how are we doing this thing? Uh, the matter at hand is I like you. Therefore, uh, are you reciprocating or not? <coughs> no. No, it ca it cannot be, and it, it, so that was my challenge then, and then, yeah, I ended up. But where do you meet Leslie? Like in a restaurant? Leslie Lance, no, Leslie Lance. We got cell phones at that time, yeah. so I call him. Hey, Mister Toko, my name is Tibo Touch. No, my name is Tabo, mm, Tabo. and I'd like to meet up with you. Hey, Tibo's man, we are here for the NBA, mm. and uh, they are called Medicine Square Garden. We're gonna check the Knicks. I'm like, I know. Yeah. So at that time, you know, my New York. Is, 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 is hardcore. Yeah. I know security at the garden mm. because of the concerts. I know everybody. I'm like, no, I'll meet you. I'll meet you at the yeah. NBA. Yeah. So it turns out that the NBA, and um, when they get there, I also find out through my intel where they're sitting. Mm. So I make sure wherever they're sitting, you're right there, close uh, nearby. Oh, I'm better. So you, <laughs> you, you, you wanted to go there. Yeah. You wanted to go to Metro. I want it so bad. Bro, you're in New York. What the fuck are you want to go to Metro? No. At that time, you have to understand, I'm already interning um, and I'm trying to prove myself from Hot 97 as an intern that I can have my own show. Oh. So, two, the vision was to build Metro FM Studios in New York. Oh. By the way, oh. I had studios. Yeah. The deal was done. May he so rest in peace. Shout out to Mr. Peter, Mat Peter Matlare. I sold the idea to Metro. I said, there's about... 600,000 South Africans in the US oh, yes. accounted for mm. who came in legally. Mm. They have there are over two million Africans in diet like yeah. living in New diaspora, York, yeah. yeah, diaspora. If we open offices here, the currency goes super high. Ah, mm. I get you. So, I get a deal at that time, um, to get studios, and I and I, I need to show Mr. Nkloko. So I get these studios. I don't know Leslie yet. I'm like, Mr. Nkloko, if you have a chance, I'd like to take you to my house. This is at the NBA. Yeah. You got better seasons. Ask him. Yeah. So I'm saying, I'd like to take you to my house. He says, your house? But uh, New York was until you land some funny apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Little did they know. Grace Jones. Yeah. Who is the daughter to the Joneses. It's mm. like my big sister. Mm. So Grace is living in the UK and I'm taking care of her house. Mm. Hey. You finessing. <laughs> Put the mat. You finessing. Yeah, so yeah, I got myself yeah. an apartment on the Hudson. <laughs> Anybody who's watching Podcast and Chill who's been to the States during my days in New York will know. They've been to the Hudson. They've seen it. Yeah. So Mr. Ntloga comes through and I'm like, yeah, come to my house for breakfast. It's like, <laughs> so he comes to my apartment 
and he realized, oh, damn, the address says Bank Street. Mm. Like, ooh. Gets there. First question, like South Africans, am I going to because we don't believe in each other. Yeah. Ah, I get yeah. know. But when you walk, you start seeing these posters, boomerang, billboard, this. Like, no, this is Grace Jones's house. Yeah. Hey, he's thinking, Joe, touch with my nugget Ben 10. Yeah. Like, no, Grace is like my sister. Olivia, I'm looking, I'm taking care of the properties. Like, oh, 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 shop. The rest is history. Yeah. So by the time I sold myself, I brought him to a place of value. Mm. So when I speak value, mm. He can see it's not a foreign concept. Yes. yes. And he can actually listen to you. So don't go negotiate your deals. I almost mentioned a brand that advertises on my platform. Mm. Don't go negotiate your deals. Go Shisanyam. Mm. Please. Mm. Oh. The I value is gone. Go to Chisanyam. Wabon. Wabon. That's why you didn't get a signing fee. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's why you didn't get a signing fee. That's why you didn't get a signing fee. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. Mm. Bruh, Mr. Les came through. It was the first trip we spoke. I said, I want to be on Metro. It's like, we'll make it happen. It took them six months. He came back after six months to New York. And this time he came with his wife. And he's like, we're going to be here for a week. I was like, please stay with me. We spoke, I showed him the vision. So I don't want to do this phone call thing. I want to do an hour. Let's go to the studios. I took him to the studios. He's like, yo. I was like, we can open Metro New York. Little did I know that SABC, I got now don't understand parastatals, yeah. how mm -hmm. they function. Mm -hmm. So I sell them the vision, but I'm like, I gotta make an impression. Grace is in town at that time. So I'm like, yes, sir. I need to show this guy that I can move. So I take him to a breakfast where Grace is with Liza Manelli, Google the name. And I say, let's go have breakfast at this hotel. He gets there, he's walking with me. He meets Grace Jones, meets Liza Manelli. It's like, yo. And I'm talking this way, hey, 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 so you must take them where people know you. Mm. Yes. Like, hey, are you having the usual? I'm like, yeah, but this time don't poach the eggs. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> I'm like, and do me a favor, whatever you did to the last salmon, <laughs> sear it the same way. <laughs> keep, keep it pink. We tried as a slide. Ah, then he's like, yo, D-man, <laughs> where do I start? It's too much. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta make it so impossible that your lowest negotiating number has to be the highest for anybody on that platform. And I'll tell you for free, mm. I did it for a year. Mr. So Mr. Ntoko came on, he got on board, Peter Matari signed it. My deal, by the way, was negotiated by the CEO. Mm. So I wasn't hired within the Metro FM channels. Program was, manager. No, 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 no. It didn't go through those channels at that time. So the CEO had to approve because it's an international contract. And uh, it was the first, after a year, they finally came on board. They were paying, I can say it now that I'm no longer there. After working for a year, where I wasn't getting paid, doing the phone call thing, when we finally did one hour, with T.I. being my first guest on mm. Rhyme and Reason. It was a Saturday, 4th of April, 2004. It was my birthday. Damn. Dude. I had Rubber Band Man. Rubber Band was the number one song. Mm. I'm going to say it one more time. Let me take a sip. You Let's guys don't understand. Sip, man. Yo. Quit playing, dog. Quit Listen. playing, yo. Mm. Rubber Band just dropped. Mm. It's the number one song in the U.S. 2 p.m., New York time, 8 o'clock at home. People are hearing T.I. for the first time on radio. And his album just dropped. Mm. That's unheard of, man, okay? in South Africa. He's number one in the States. And he's on Metro on the 4th of April, 2004. It was a Saturday. Go back. It was a Saturday. And how much were they paying you that deal? So we were charging an hour on the dollar rate. And I think at that time, we were doing 1,500 U.S. an hour. So that was about 20,000 rands an hour, Shh. if you convert it to today. Yeah. I'm just saying. And back, this is 2004. Yeah, yeah. So if, you know. Is but it true they paid you 200K when you did the drive, Metro FM drive? Yeah, around, around then. I think people think, oh my God, you were paid. No, I think I was the most underpaid DJ yep. given what I was bringing in the I table. Agree. I agree. 200k sounds like a lot, but no. what you're bringing in no, 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 for no. the station no. is ridiculous. No, mm. but they make that with one ad. Yeah. Um, and how many ads on drive time? 
This should give you a percentage of the ad revenue. We're, we're getting there. We're going to get there. Oh.